take on Grant. Tempro can't handle it. Bursi, he's gonna get an easy bucket. And a two-handed flood. Jason McDonald, uh, one of the best guards ever to play here at UPI. Oh, yeah. with it now they lead by 10 just gonna try and hang on to that lead and advance to the finals tomorrow play hard for 40 minutes and they want to be able to compete with the x-men here tonight and you can see after that devastating loss against dalhousie uh, 101 points to 66 uh, here at the field house last weekend the uh, head coach benoit is changing up the strategy you mentioned that dale gordon typically the bench leader but starting today yeah he just comes away with it. couldn't score there miller passes it out and three shot three point shot there doesn't fall bursey gets the rebound ball goes over to antoine antoine taking his time his bursey open in the post bursey gonna flip it up to smith i believe no nope, that's not smith that's Velochi checking in for the X-Men as Burst. St. FX inbounds it. And Bursey.
Well, Johnson and Larry, and Larry had that big tap out there to get them a second possession, and then Johnson with a nice post move. Those guys are veterans. They were actually first years on the 2011-2012 Acadia AUS Championship team that went on. This guy was one for seven coming into the overtime. Now up to 13 points, eight rebounds for the big man out of Quispam Sis, New Brunswick. Shot there by Percy, and he gets it. He can start to find his rhythm out there, then they'll come out closer to him. He'll get back down to the rack. It's a progression of his game. Percy, mid-range. in the second half tight game x is up 33 to 31 over dal andrew with the ball both that sat down to bercy and bercy muscling his way through we got the layup Patrick Dahl. Should be a really fun matchup. Opening tip will go to the X-Men. And speaking of the X-Men, they bring back last year's AUS MVP and Kevin Bursey. There's Bursey with the ball there. Veteran team, as you said in the pregame introduction. What do you expect from, from this veteran side as Bursey finishes with the left hand? Well, And here is Andrew. Out to Bursey. Provo uses a screen from Percy. In the short corner, the hook shot from Percy connects. Exciting to watch all year long. Yeah. So kudos to the coaches, players, and both men's and women's. Love AUS action. So 3.59 left in this one. Eight point game. This is out of a timeout now. Up. They say he's not shooting. They're going to have a baseline with seven seconds left. Bercy window and in. Stan, Stan for three. Clearly a guy with some style and flair. He's got the Odell Beckham Jr. haircut and the little Kevin Durant shimmy shake. Two great athletes to be uh, looking up to, I guess. Here's Bercy now. Tough basket there. Kisses it. by Corliss going up there. Wasn't it a great? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Team in the next level. He just does, he just, wow. He just defends hard. Yeah. Big size at that four spot. <laughs> Human pogo stick to come in to finish that one off. And, and that Roker with the block at the other end. Well, he is all momentum. Watch out here. Uh, Bercy.
body that time. Stamberger now driving kick. Vigno for three. That one not going to go. Now, Bursey pushing it back the other way. He's going to take it oh on Stamberger. Goodness. Count it. one then the teams will be totally even through three games of scoring so let's let's uh let's make that our prediction here wow yeah it, it's interesting and again these two teams will play again twice in the second half of the AUS season and seem destined for a matchup at the AUS playoffs as well so they'll know each other very well and that's something but the Huskies had Osbury in that game and they don't have him tonight the AUS All-Star, Barry, would have been a good battle against Bercy, and wow, Laura Stairmeld that pass by about a foot. <laughs> he put it at uh, 10 feet when it, or he put it at 11 feet when it needed to be 10. Another. Antoine's face. That's going to be a foul every time, so that'll be a turnover there as the X-Men look to take the lead with four minutes remaining in overtime. Bercy going down low, and he's going to get it up. Smith takes the screen from Bercy, feeds it for him, lane opens up, and Bercy finishes with the left. There's Casango, and Casango on the doorstep cleaning up the garbage. Great job by Casango not giving up on the play, and nice job as well by Bronner. He's a very, very solid defender. Streaking in here now with a full head of steam is... See Trayvon Grant healthy and playing again. Had some injury problems last year. Andrew, no look, bounce pass to Bercy. The state of X gets the ball back. Bercy over to Pasley. His shot is not going to go, but Bercy getting the ball right back, and he's going to get it in. Excellent work there. been doing it for a long time his face is on the side of the metro center right now advertised the youth sport championships and that's why he can stroke bercy with the j so it's